local comics from Niagara Falls, starting off with Vinny. How you doing, Vinny? Hey, pretty good. How about you? Pretty good, man. Tell us a little bit about your comic, Vinny and Bud. Well, Vinny and Bud was an idea I came up with when I used to do mural paintings for the school board about 10 years ago. They want, the one particular school wanted a skater kid in the gym, so that became this guy here. And then I liked drawing him so much, I started doing stories with him in it, and I threw me as his best friend, because I've always wanted to be in the comic books. So since then, I've been developing it, and uh, I've developed a website and a blog since, and uh, here we are at Comic-Con, still fighting the good fight. Sweet! So how many years have you been writing and drawing this comic? This is going on the ninth year. Cool! So what, what sort of inspiration do you, you, do you take for the humor? Where do you find uh, that aligns if people are trying to figure out what kind of humor you got in your comics? I think the best way to describe it is Charlie Brown meets that 70s show. Nice! Nice! A lot of hair! Hmm? I, I, I picture lots of hair. Oh yeah, well yeah, well obviously it's ta it takes place in the late 70s, so all the kids are kind of like long-haired hippie kids, eh? There's people that I've known growing up, people that have inspired me along. Like here's one in particular where they're having a little conversation and the grandfather character is just kind of looking on. So they have their little confab about opening up for the prom, like being the band for the prom, and he puts his, his, two, uh, his two cents, you all look like girls. Yeah, you because know, they're all like, you know, long hair. <laughs> their hair. Exactly. Um, so a lot of this is autobiographical. It's like you've drawn on it from your own experiences. Um, do you approach people you knew in the 70s who you want to put in the comics? Be like, hey, can I have a basic character on a comic off of here? Or you just roll with it. It's kind of like back in the day when we were kids, I was always drawing and people were always asking me to draw them. So they always said, if you ever do a comic book, I want to be in it. So it was almost like permission back even in those days. And even to this day, like when people see me working on it, right away they're all, please put me in the strip. Please. So I always have to write like a storyline, which is I enjoy, and I could have them as either background characters or reoccurring characters. Like this guy here, his name's Fathead. His real life, in real life, his name is Fathead. And he looks like that. I didn't really have to make him up at all. The other gentleman here with the beard and the long hair and the purple toque, that's another dude I know, looks just like that. Everyone wants to be a comic star. I know I do. <laughs> um, can you tell our viewers the link? And we'll put it up at the bottom. The uh, website is vinnieandbudcomics.blogspot.com and then we have www.vinnieandbud.com. All right, well, thanks so much. We'll, we'll check out your comics. I hope so. I hope and so. And maybe we'll see you next year here at Niagara Falls Comic Con. Are you at Toronto? Yeah. I'm there too. Sweet.